Kate Hudson is known as one of the most glamorous and well-dressed women in the world, which is why it came as quite a shock when the blonde buzzed off her signature long blonde locks over the summer. Last night, the actress hit the red carpet for the first time with her shorn head at the Urban World Film Festival, and dazzled. While promoting her new film Marshall the very same day, the actress also sat down with her co-star, Emmy winner Sterling K. Brown, and opened up to E. News about the story behind the big cut. I wish the story felt bigger, she said. For me, it was a necessary thing to do for this part. I was so excited about it. So it was like, okay, let's just shave it. So it was more excitement than overthinking it. The hair raising move was for an upcoming role in Sisters, a feature film set for release in 2018 which is co-written and directed by the singer Sia. Hudson also said she got her sons involved in the process, explaining that her six-year-old Bingham Bellamy was the one who shaved her hair off. The mom of two said, Bing actually cut it. I thought for him to be a part of it wouldn't feel so shocking. The How to Lose a Guy in 10 Dates actress said that she wanted her kids involved in the process, but it turns out they didn't really care that much either way. My kids really didn't care. The star confessed. What else did she have to say about the low maintenance look? Every woman at one point should just shave it all off. We'll have to take her word for that. In Hudson and Brown's new film Marshall, a young Thurgood Marshall, played by Chadwick Boseman, is sent by the NAACP to conservative Connecticut to defend a black chauffeur Joseph Spell, played by Brown, against his wealthy employer Eleanor Strubing, Hudson in a headline-making sexual assault and attempted murder trial. Marshall, who eventually became the first African-American Supreme Court justice, is partnered with Samuel Friedman, Josh Gad, an inexperienced Jewish lawyer who has never tried a case before in his life. The courtroom drama hits theaters on October 13th.